My name is Robbie Ferry, and uh, I am an endurance cyclist. What does it mean to be an endurance adventure cyclist to me? I guess it just means having fun getting lost, really. So that's probably the key to it. For me, I love to get lost. I love to see new places, and I love to kind of push beyond the limits that I normally you know, would do in my normal life. So for me, it's all about the adventure. It's just all about going and having a lot of fun. <laughs> so how did I get into endurance cycling? It all started with, um, I really had no money and my sister's wedding was coming up and I wanted to get a really nice gift. I had about hundred pounds and there's nothing I could find which kind of had any sentimental value or anything that I actually wanted to get her. So I decided that I'd buy a bike for £20. I'd never really cycled before and I just uh, jumped on it and cycled from London to Paris in about 23 hours with a padlock which I put on the Lovelock Bridge for her and my brother-in-law. And uh, after that it just kind of got a little bit out of control before I knew it, I was cycling across Europe and I started to kind of go for a few world records and then before I knew it, it was kind of became my job, so it uh, started really well. <laughs> I previously have broken the world record for the most country cycle in 24 hours and seven days, and then I lost the seven day record, so I'm going back to get that again this time. So fingers crossed, it should be good. Preparation is key. I always got told by, you know, some people that mentor, mentored me and they just said, you know, fail to prepare, prepare to fail, which I'm really kind of agreed with. Uh, preparation for me is so, I already know that I can sit on a bike all day and I can ride a bike all day, so I never really stress too much about that. As long as I'm feeling pretty good and strong, I always try and, you know, get my weight down a little bit and then normally about two or three days before I eat everything I physically can and then I just ride as much as I can. So preparation for me is probably a little bit more mental than it is physical like you can only train a certain amount of time but it, it does actually come down to you know your mental capacity on the bike more than anything so training it's all just getting your head in the right place and then when your head's there you know the legs will follow diets my diet's always very interesting actually so it's normally about 10,000 calories a day or as close as i can get to that so i eat absolutely everything i can so you know, you never ever buy things in a singular form. So everything's a multi-pack. So if you want a croissant, you buy like five and then you just destroy them all there. And then sleep, you know, you're lucky for maybe three or four hours. Uh, probably the most interesting race I did recently was um, on an island called Corsica. And I decided that, cause I'd had a few problems here and there with a bit of navigation, I got lost basically. <laughs> I decided I had a lot of time to make up. So I thought I'd try and do the whole race without sleeping. So I went nearly three days without sleeping and uh, normally I'll sleep for two or three hours a night if I can just on the side of the road but I actually did pretty much the whole race on no sleep and uh, it was to a point of where I was kind of seeing faces in walls and stuff so I try and get to two or three hours sleep a night but if I have to I know I can get two or three days without needing to go to sleep as long as there's a really good flow of coffee then it's normally okay. Um, best place, uh, probably uh, two best places really, I love Switzerland, Switzerland's gorgeous, you know, it's such a cool place and I once had to go across at night time in the mountains and I was looking at, um, on top of like Zurich and it was just a phenomenal place and the experience was just great and everything there is just so insanely beautiful, so I absolutely love Switzerland. Um, the Middle East Oman, so I had a race out there recently, I spent a bit of time growing up there so I really wanted to go back and i completely forgotten about how beautiful it was, you know, the wadis and the mountains and even even the people are just so nice. It was just such a perfect place and it really just made me so happy to go back there. But some of the views are just insane and the deserts, although flat and sandy, they're just you know, so much beauty in them, you know, such an amazing place to go and ride a bike and it's something where I'd really recommend if you get the chance. The worst place has to be Peru. I think it's probably more because the experience. I think the views were just absolutely stunning. But when I went there, I got you know extremely bad altitude sickness, and I was chased by dogs left, right, and centre. And I didn't really kind of get along with the the food as much as I was eating there. And my name went from being Robbie to a Gringo. 
for about a week, which was quite upsetting, <laughs> but not in, a, not in a nasty way. So I just found Peru really tough to ride in. It wasn't a country that I dislike. It's just a country that I just didn't really get along with. So that was probably the toughest place I've ever ridden a bike, but the nicest place is gotta be Switzerland if I had to say anywhere. Why do, why do I do this? Um, I, I'd love to um, give you the answer, you know, to you know, make, make a difference to the world, you know, world peace and all that, but honestly, I do it just because I absolutely love it. You know, like, I, I just love to ride a bike. I love to see new places. I just, you know, love to go and get lost. Um, for me, it, it's quite nice that I get quite a lot of messages saying, you know, you really inspire me to go out on a bike and stuff like that. It kind of just comes from, for me, just the love to ride a bike, that's really it. You know, I just absolutely adore cycling and everything it's brought me has just been so fantastic. So the way I see it is just ride as much as you can and uh, just keep heading into the pedals and just go everywhere. You know, you only, only live once, don't you? That's the key. Thanks for listening anyway, guys. Um, if you want to follow me, um, I'm on Instagram and Facebook under Riding With Robbie. Perfect, thank you very much. Happy days. Thank